What's up, guys? Hello? Hey, Noah, what's up, YouTube? Just checking in before you show them how I work today. Yeah, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. All right, let's try that again from the top. What's up, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to trigger outbound calls using Retail AI, N8N, and Twilio. If you find this content useful, feel free to drop a like and a sub, and let's jump straight into it. So our first step is going to be going to Twilio.com. Com. If you don't already have an account, you can press start for free to sign up. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Before we jump into it, Twilio is what I use to rent phone numbers. So we're going to rent one and then we're going to use that to connect to a retail AI agent to make the outbound calls. This is what you'll see once you sign up for Twilio. This is sort of the home page. And unfortunately, to make outbound calls using a rented Twilio number, you're going to have to upgrade your account, as you see here. So I would suggest just loading in $20, which is going to last you a very long time, unless you're making calls like crazy. But I would go ahead and do that now before continuing. Um, once you do that, you're going to go under phone numbers in the left side tab. Drag this over so you can see. And then you're going to go over to manage and buy a number. Okay, so here is where you're going to actually rent the number. So choose your country. And then make sure that the capabilities has the voice option selected. Um, type in your country. You can fill, You can add some of these filters if you want. Or if not, just press search. So I'm going to just go ahead and rent this first one. I'm going to select buy. Buy again. And there you have it. Now it's going to pop up saying configure this number. So I'm going to press configure. Now... All this information you can leave as is. The only thing you're gonna to wanna to add is the emergency calling because if this number is used to call 911, then you could get charged up to $75 for that. So you want an emergency address on this number just in case that happens. Um, the message messaging configuration you can leave out for now because we're only gonna be using the voice, but everything here, leave it as is. Um, the next thing we're going to do is head down to this elastic SIP trunking. And if you don't see this in your sidebar right here, you can just go ahead and search for it and then pin it to your sidebar. So we're gonna to go to that. Then we're gonna to go to manage and we're gonna press trunks. Now we're gonna create a new SIP trunk right here and give it a friendly name. So I'm gonna just call this YouTube demo and press create. Great, so what we're gonna to wanna to do on this page is scroll down to where you see call transfer SIP refer and enable that. And then we're gonna to wanna to enable the PSTN transfer and then click save. Okay, once that's saved, we're gonna go over to termination. Now here we're gonna choose a URL and you're gonna to need to save this for later. So maybe uh, copy and paste it somewhere or you can come back into Twilio to get it, but I'm just gonna call this six, Flow YouTube demo. Make sure it says available before moving on, by the way. And then we're going to scroll down to authentication and we're going to add a new credential list. So we're going to give this a name YouTube demo. This username and password is going to be important, so make sure you write this down YouTube demo and you. YouTube demo 2025 and then click create. So it should automatically select it in your credential list. If not, you just press this drop down and select the one you just made. It's already selected here. Um, that's all we're going to need for the termination. So we're going to click save again. All right. So next we're going to go over to origination and under origination URLs, we're going to add a new origination URL and this is going to be the same for everyone. So you can just copy it right from my screen and then keep 10 and 10 and press add. All right, and then next we're gonna go over to numbers and in the top right here, we're gonna press add a number and then add an existing number. And you're just gonna to wanna to select the one that you just made and press add selected. And that is everything we need from Twilio. So now that that's set up, we're going to go into retail AI next. Not that, this is what we want. And again, if you don't have an account, sign up. I already have one, so I'm gonna log in. 
Guys, if you haven't already checked out my other video on how to build agents in retail AI, I suggest you go do that first because I'm not going to be covering how to actually build the agent right now. All I'm going to do is use a demo agent that I've already made, connect the number that we just got from Twilio and then connect it to any den. So once you're in retail's interface, you're going to go down to phone numbers and you're going to click this plus right here, and then you're going to connect to your number via SIP trunking. So here's where you're going to want to enter the phone number. Okay. Make sure when you enter this number that there is no spaces or any characters between the numbers. Then this is where your termination URL is going to go. So remember I told you to write that down. Yeah, now you need it. So I didn't write it down. So I'm going to go back to my trunks. I'm going to select the one I just made. I'm going to go to termination and I am going to copy this and paste. So guys, it says optional here, but you do need to add this. So you want your username and the password that you put for your credential list in Twilio. YouTube demo, YouTube demo 2025. You can add a nickname if you want, you don't actually need that. Then you're gonna click save. So here's where you're gonna link the number that you just made you're going to link it to your agent. So before I link this, I have yet to publish the latest version of this agent. So I'm just going to head in here and in the top right, you're going to see a publish button. So you're just going to click publish. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it V0. And so you're going to select outbound phone number and the one you just created, and then you're going to publish. Okay. So let's get out of this agent and go back to phone numbers. And you should see that the YouTube demo outbound call agent is already selected on the number that we just made. All right, that is it for retail AI. So next we're going to hop into N8N and you're going to want to create a new workflow on your account. Before we get started, I'm just going to let you guys know now that in this video, I will not be covering how to trigger outbound calls using a Google Sheet trigger. I won't be covering how to pass variables back and forth between N8N and retail AI. I won't be covering how to book meetings um, using retail AI and N8N in real time as in during the call and I won't be covering how to do the post-call analysis. If you guys want all that information, there are videos on my page that'll link up above, so you can check that out there. For now, I'm just gonna use a manual trigger, okay? And I'm gonna connect an HTTP request node. Come on, HTTP request. All right, so let's get this set up. So first, the method, we're gonna switch this to post. And then the URL, you can grab this from uh, retail's documentation or just copy it off my screen, but it's gonna be the same for everyone as of right now because they're in version two. So this may be updated in the future. Authentication will leave as none. Uh, send queries uh, disabled. We will enable send headers. Use field belows is fine. And then we're gonna put authorization here. Authorization and then the value right bare for now with a space. And we're actually going to need to go back into retail one more time. So in the left tab bar, you're gonna go down to keys and in the right top right corner, you can press add key and select API key. Name this whatever you want. Okay, create. And then just copy that key. Then when we go back into NADN, we're going to paste this right here. Cool. So we are also going to enable send body. Uh, type is going to be JSON. And then specify body, we're actually going to use JSON for this. So I'm just going to copy this from a previous workflow I had and then we'll update it like that right there. Expand this for you guys. All right. So from number, this is going to be your rented Twilio number. So I'm going to go and copy that from Twilio because I do not remember what it is. Again, make sure there are no spaces between the numbers or it will not work. Okay. The two number is going to be the number that you want the agent to call. So I had this set up for a Google sheet trigger, but now I'm just going to manually put it in. The call type is going to be phone call, phone underscore call. The override agent ID, we are going to grab that from retail itself, go into your agent that you've made. And in the top left, you're going to see agent ID. So you can just go ahead and copy that. And then we're going to paste it right here. Um, the dynamic variables, I'm just going to get rid of that for now. Make sure there's no comma at the end. 
If you guys want to know how to use the dynamic variables again, I suggest you go check out my other video where I discuss how to do that. For now, we're going to leave it at this. This is all you need. And then we're going to close that. I'm going to close this. I'm going to save. And that is it, guys. So now, finally, let me open my phone. And let's give it a run. Let's wait for it to come in. There it is, guys. Hello. Hey there. Just wanted to let you know that we've got the outbound AI agent running. Drop a sub. That's right. Yo, you heard me go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Uh, it helps out a ton, you know? Are you already subbed or is this your first time? Guys, you, you heard it from her, not me. You heard it from her. Drop the sub. Anyways, guys, appreciate you sticking around. If you found this useful, drop a like, drop a sub. More to come. Thank you for your time and I'll see you next time.